Hello and welcome back to Wasteland 2. Things have gotten real. We have lost the most valuable member of our squad, Vax. However, we have gained Bart. That's all I have to say. I don't have anything good to say about Bart, but we have gained him. Um, now we need to explore this area filled with killer robots who we only managed to kill the first time because we had the OP Vax, so... Uh, bludgeoned, bloody, and bruised, this body bears a bandolier. I mean, I'm ready. Just do it. There, there wasn't a random attack? Oh, come on. You're just gonna put a chest here with no traps on it? Oh. I guess they are. Okay. I mean, we did already kill some enemies in this area, so, you know. That's fine. What's over this way? I'm very paranoid about every step. Now you may notice the quick save happening a lot. You pity the poor pacifist pierced in profoundly painful places. Ha am I impressed that I said that in one go? Yeah. The history of Davis Mon. Oh, Davis Monthan Air Base. Except that it's moved on to the next line. Okay. Let's read it. Davis Monthan Air Base is named for Lieutenant Samuel H. Davis and Oscar Monthan, two natives of Tuscan, Arizona, and pilots during World War I who died in separate military aircraft accidents in the year following the war. Why do I get the feeling that this is real? <laughs> in 1925, a year after Monthan had passed and four years after Davis died, Tuscan City Council purchased 1,280 acres of land southeast of town to locate the city's municipal airport. Construction was completed in 1927, and the world-famous aviator Charles Lindbergh formally dedicated the site in honor of the two deceased airmen. The site would later become the heart of the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. While primarily a civilian airbase for years, in 1940 with the war effort ramping up for World War II, the War Department officially established an Army Air Force Base in Tuscan. Davis Monthan soon became home to newly assigned units such as the 1st Bombardment Wing and the 31st Air Base Group. The base was officially named the Davis Monthan Field. As the war progressed, it was used for training and deployment of B-17 Fortress and B-24 Liberator bombers, key to the war efforts. Following the war, Davis Monthan continued operating both as a storage for Army Air Force planes, Tuscan's dry climate making it the ideal location for preservation, as well as the base of operations for bombers. In 1948, it was officially redesignated the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. In 1953, the first jets came to DM, in the form of four Lockhead T 33 shooting stars, right after the completion of a new runway able to serve these jets. Stratojets and fighter interceptor jets followed. All training was focused on eventual missions against the US's prime antagonist, the USSR. In the 1960s, DM was officially selected as the site of an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, wing, as well as the announcement of 18 sites around Tuscan being selected for the construction of Titan II missile silos. From 1961 to 1962, construction on the appropriate bunker facilities, blast lock doors and the required electronics were completed. In the 1970s, Davis Monthan continued to be used as a training site for worldwide deployment. In 1975, jurisdiction of DM was officially transferred from Strategic Air Command to Tactical Air Command. In 1981, the 836th Air Division activated and activity in DM was slowly but surely ramped up. Still primarily a training base, the activity of bomber training was increased to prepare for the seemingly inevitable conflict with the USSR. With many Air Force units at the ready, as well as its ICBM facilities, Davis Monthan will no doubt play a major part in whatever challenges the US will face in the future. Hey, you may have noticed the music just stopped. There's a good reason for that. That is because I've alt-tabbed to look up the Davis Monthan uh, base. Monthan Air Force Base? I mean, it, it's real. That's all I'm going to say. It is real. This all appears to be real information. Well, for the most part. I assume the bit at the end probably isn't real, but, you know. It, it seems pretty real to me. And it is in, you know, Arizona. Cool. Well, you just got some real history. And there are no robots in sight. As far as we know. 
Looks like my kind of town. Robots to kill, booze to drink. Hey, Rangers, Perfect. up here. Okay. Let's make some scrap. Is somebody over here called to us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Noise of the giant airplane. Uh, the nose of the giant airplane looms above you, pointing into the air at a shallow angle like the barrel of a cannon. The windows of the cockpit are smashed out, and as you get closer, you see a guy waving from, uh, waving at you from it. Hello. You recognize the ugly face. It's Red, the scrap metal trader from outside the prison. Oh! Boy, am I glad to see you. Came up here looking for salvage and a bunch of robots came in behind me. I barricaded myself in, but they ain't leaving. Can you help a fellow out? No problem, stay put. Fantastic, there's a door down by the tail. You're gonna have to fight your way through, but I got a line on some great cargo if you made it, kid. Door down by the tail? Really? Oh, well, there is. Well, there is a thing down by the tail. Is uh, would I call it a door? No, but I mean this is the tail. Wait, is this the tail or is that the tail? This might be the tail. You know, this looks like it should be the tail. Can I get in here? Door down by the tail. Unless that's the... It's hard to tell because there's so many broken up planes here. I don't think there is a door here unless it's the other... S there might be a door on the other side, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm going to continue on my path, and then if it happens to coincide here, we'll do their thing. Um, now, I was told if we leave Demonta, we will fail all quests that we have in Demonta. Now, currently, I don't believe we have any quests in Demonta, but you get the idea. I don't really want to leave. Yeah, 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 the door is down by the tail, I get it, but, you know, at the same time, I suspect it's at this side, so you're going to want me to go this way, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I haven't healed. I'm gonna quick save. Gigantic plane lies on a mound of junk. It's missing its wings and its nose tipped up into the air at a shallow angle while its tail is buried in the trash. One of the back doors is open. Oh, there we go. Well, that's where we're going in. Not an immediate fight, not an immediate fight. Okay, this is okay. I can cope with this, this is fine. Keep going forward. I'm fine having the sniper at the front because the sniper goes first in pretty much every circumstance. Although I am thinking there's going to be an attack at any moment now. I see and I see everybody. Well, given that I can see them and we're being cautious, let's just play it safe. Can I shoot from here? No. So I want to be on this side, right? No. Can I go one for forward and see? Yes. Okay. So that's as far forward as we can go. So we'll crouch. What else have we got? We got buffalo. You can probably sit in here. That seems reasonable. Be re like here maybe? Be ready. But not necessarily stuck. Hope we want to be sitting a little bit back because Hope is our healer. So we'll make sure she lives. Scooter. You're going to be right up the front, unfortunately, mate. Chisel. Sorry, when I said right up the front, I wasn't talking... I hadn't quite considered these guys yet. Alright, so you're going to be... I'm going to quick save. I don't know how close I can get. I'm going to try getting in here. As well far forward. Uh, I'm going to switch on his hatchet as well. Just for just now. Right. I'm gonna send Ralphie all the way up here. And then Chisel. Chisel, you're gonna try and get to this side, although that is extremely dangerous. Quick save. Eat. Take your shot. Nice. Okay, so everybody does actually get the cover, which is nice. We can take another shot here. And what's their chances of hitting? Uh, 56. Yeah, I'm going to hit the one at the back. There's a lot of health on something back there. I don't know what it is, but it might be one of the big, big guys. All right, they're coming in. They're going to hit us with scan. We know that's going to happen. I don't really know what scan does, but that's okay. Um, let's use one of... Well, yeah, let's use two of these. 
that's okay. Ah, uh, see, that's the big thing at the back. Okay. We'll deal with it in a second. Just want to kill this thing. Right. It's a bit... Oh my god, it's the Thresher Tlar. At least sounds like it's a melee creature. You know, small, small miracles. Um... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna V here. We can shoot it. That did, like, nothing. Okay, well. Didn't actually do nothing, so that's fine. Uzi, you can't hit. Just prepare. Hatchet, I actually want to... It's crazy. I want to move him forward. And then just prepare. Just hit something that comes through. God damn. That's, uh... That's something, huh? Well, thanks for the shot. Mm. I would definitely feel like shooting this guy is going to be good. That was amazing. Okay. We crashed him. I don't know what that does, but we crashed him. Okay. Uh, switch weapon fire mode. And then just ambush. Is he bleeding out? He is bleeding out. Well. That's good. Two shots. Definitely a positive. That's good. Keep going. Yep. That's a kill. No, it's not. Okay. Also, does this have two fire modes? It does. Okay, I should be um, using the other fire mode a lot more. Not in this situation, though. But I should be using it more. Okay, um, yeah, I can repair. Repair. You can shoot it. Do it. Didn't kill it. Uh, you just want to take a step back. Just make the angle bad for it to kill us. Uh, I hate that it gets a full turn. We got some lucky misses. You know, that's good. All right, that's amazing. Okay. Bang. That is fantastic. That was that a crit? That wasn't that felt yeah, that had to be a crit. Thank you, Bart. Um immediately go and heal him. Before he dies, ideally. Okay. Well, this is um scary. But that's okay. We're we're alive, and that's what matters. Do some healing of the various party members. Okay. I might just do a little click here before I do the next one. Just to get everybody in range. Ralphie needs a little heal as well. He had so many lucky misses. Ralphie could have been absolutely destroyed. Okay. Right. Everybody's healed. We'll do a little quick save. Grab our loot. So we got an optical eye. Another one of them. What do these guys drop? Junk. Okay. Oh, and there's more. There's more junk. Wonderful. Right, move forward. And there we go. There's red. Rangers, that you? Hold on. Let me unlock the door. Thanks, Rangers. I thought it was done for. You recognize that ugly face. It's red. The scrap metal trader from outside the prison. So here's the deal. I came up here to get a bird's eye view because I was looking for something. Unfortunately, I didn't see it, but somewhere in the graveyard, an old scavenger told me there's a hidden treasure. All I had to do was find a plane with the word Sierra Madre Air Freight painted on the side. In that plane is the treasure. Now, I was planning on looking for it myself, with all these crazy robots running around killing folks. I could use a little extra firepower. What you say, I could hook up with you to find it, we make an even split between us, sound like a deal? Sounds like a fair deal. Great, then let's get to looking. We got a lot of ground to cover. Wait, another Don't random cut person? This punk in on anything. What a shit bird. Wow. But also, we now have Red and Bart. That's cool. I mean... They're still not quite what we're after. But that's okay. I was kind of hoping that one of these two was going to be like a... Um, 
a companion, but I guess the answer is no there. Yeah. Still haven't quite explained why all these robots have taken over, but I guess that, that was kind of explained in Jill's, but still. I want a little bit more. I want more info. Alright. That, that is not going to get broken down. How about here? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Same deal? Same deal. Okay. That might be a way back. We could probably explode it. Is that the radio tower? That's the radio tower. I don't believe it for two for two seconds that that is where we actually want to be. Okay, now um, Takayuki. Pipe bomb, I think, is the appropriate sized weapon for this job. Ineffective. Grenade? Alright then. <laughs> Not gonna happen, as far as I'm concerned. Just do a little switch of weapons round. Make sure everyone's switched and reloaded. Because I saw unjammed there. I was like, ah. Actually not a bad idea to just sort that out. Okay, well that's the radio tower. I mean, I guess I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna take the long way round. I know we could walk to it, but I, I don't... The game has given me trust issues, okay? So, I'm just gonna take a longer route round. I don't know if there's anything in here. Again, I still don't... Uh, see, I can see some enemies. I mean, I guess if I can see them, I shouldn't have trust issues. I should just know they're there. Okay, that one is out of range. That's probably our ideal. Crouch. No, I just wanted to shoot it. Just come back. You were in range. We can do this. There might be someone in there, judging by the scratching. Oh, come on, Disco Bot. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We missed, but still. That's what I'm talking about. Now that we're in combat, it's like 100%. You cannot miss. Wonderful. It's coming. It's going to scan us. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. Let's now do this. We have one ambush on. It does walk very slowly. Which is our saving grace here. It does, however, go a long way. Um, head up here. Hit it. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, step forward. Step forward. Start chucking ammo in, I guess. Step forward. Again, to chuck ammo into it, I guess. It jams. Mm. Might need to find him a better one of those. Shoot. Yeah, I knew you'd get bored and fuck off eventually, you metal motherfucker. Oh, it's the guy who was on the radio. Wally. All right. I suppose actually because it's robots, it's Wally. Anyway, Congratulations. that's fine. Uh, we leveled up. Uh, we're level 18. Uh, we have nine in skill points. Uh, there's not really much point in increasing our base chance to hit, because we don't miss. I'm actually going to increase our perception again. I don't really care about alarm disarming as much. I would like to just know when things are going to be there. That's really my only thing. Cool. I love how heat's just like full health, because he never gets hit. On the lacy shadow of the radio tower sits a square windowless cinder block building with a metal door in the front. Crooked and unlit neon letters spell out the station's call sign on the roof. k Pow. Underneath in faded paint is written, we're number one with a bullet. Alright. Uh, it's locked. Okay, well, I'm gonna go in here. It's locked. 
we speak to the person in there. What about this? Oh, there we are. What the? Did, did one of you robots figure out the intercom? Well, you can't come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Unless I hear a human hello, I ain't opening the door. Uh, hello? Wait a minute, that sounded awfully real. Who's out there? It's the Desert Rangers. We're here to help. Rangers? What are rangers doing this far east? Huh, who the fuck cares? If you killed those robots, you are my new best friends. Come in, come in. What's happening with all these robots? I said come in. Okay. Free at last, free at last. Hallelujah, I'm free at last. Hello. Oh, the guy really does look like a werewolf. He's got big, thick gray hair and a big, thick beard with a big white smile blazing through it. Wait, why, why is he doing this part? I tell you, Rangers, you got here in the nick of time. One second more and those metal motherfuckers would have blown down my house like the big bad wolf. You have my eternal thanks and also beer if you want. It's in the fridge. Metal motherfuckers? You mean robots? Damn straight. I don't know what happened exactly, but all of a sudden, all those dead robots that have been rusting out in the airplane graveyard just got up on their little metal feet, good as new, tippy-toed into Demata, and started killing everybody in sight. Goddamn creepy is what it is. Where's this airplane graveyard? Just north of here. Might have been a military facility back in the day. Now, it's a scavenger's dream. Acres of rusty old tech just waiting to be explored. Even supposed to be a missile silo back there somewhere. Get a lot of traders coming to DeMonta to collect scrap metal, engines, etc. But this robot business is going to put the kibosh on that. There's a missile silo? That's what I've heard. Supposed to be booby trapped though. Very few who go in there ever come back alive. You've heard of the Desert Rangers this far out? DeMonta's pretty far from our base. Well then, you must be packing a pretty powerful tower back at, uh, what's it called? Ranger Center? Your dispatcher comes in pretty clear when the weather's right. Hmm, we'd like to use your radio tower. We need to hook it up to a Watts, uh, a Watson Watt Adcock antenna re uh, array. A uh, what now? A uh, Wads and Horsecock what? Oh, for triangulation. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with me bringing the music to the people, go ahead. Wait a second, what am I saying? DeMonta's got a problem, and you seem like a group of problem solvers. How about you well-armed individuals doing DeMonta a little favor before I let you pass my fancy lock? Well, robots have been in the shadows this whole mission. We'd be better armed if we can complete it and get new intel from HQ. Sounds so grandiose when you put it that way, Ranger Team Excellent. Here, take the key. So, uh, how about our problem? What kind of favor? As you might have noticed, uh, we've got a bit of a robot problem. Now, I'm sure you cleared out a fair number of them getting here, but more and more keep coming out of the airplane graveyard, and I'm afraid that even if you kill all the ones in town, soon as you leave, we're gonna be infested all over again. So me and all the surviving citizens of DeMonta would sure appreciate if you cats uh, went in there and found out what's been sending all those robots to kill us. And when you do find it, uh, we'd just be tickled pink if you was to blow it straight to Kingdom Come. <laughs> what do you say? Sure, happy to help. Groovy! And listen, that place is a scavenger's dream. An enterprising group such as yourselves could probably find enough prime tech in there to make the fight worthwhile. I hear there's even an old missile silo back there somewhere with all kinds of treasure. It's a dangerous place, but you're dangerous folks. I'm sure you'll manage. You'll find the entrance to the graveyard just past the El Saigon Diner. Dave Barnes said he thought he heard noises coming out of the old hangar near there. Okay, see ya, Wally. Rock on, brothers and sisters! Woo-hoo, rock and roll! Now this is music to kick someone's head into. I like it. I'm just saying, if he continues speaking, we might just end up shooting him. This old jukebox has been restored beautifully on the outside, but the inside's been hollowed out and turned into a cabinet for Werewolf Wally's record collection. Okay. Uh, I have the key. Don't I? I was just given the key, so somebody has the key. 
who has the key. So, I'm, I'm, oh, is that it? Oh, there we go. Just open it up. Wonderful. It looks like you could heap, uh, you could hook up a repeater unit to this ac into this access point. Well, I mean, where's the repeater unit? It's in here somewhere, isn't it? Code scrambler. I'm sure she had it, but maybe she doesn't. Maybe I gave it to someone else. Uh, I'm also gonna also sort a couple times because our inventories are looking a little bit garbage. Um, maybe Buffalo has the repeater units. There's a chance Buffalo has the repeater units. Buffalo has the repeater unit. There we are. Wonderful. And... Roger, Team Echo. Relay signal coming in loud and clear. Uh, stand by as researcher Murcaptain makes her calibrations. We may have new orders for you. Stand by. One moment, General. Uh, Woodson, if you could give me the signals from Towers 1 and 2. Rock and hope and superior technology. Share our vision of a perfect union between man and machine. Mercy is in the bullets of our guns. Sisters, it is in the tips of our bayonets. It Good. North-south access is dialed in. Now for east-west. Towers three and four, if you please, Woodson. The best of mankind and make it better. With science. Death of every sinner who is too blind to turn to the light. All signals locked in and holding steady. Triangulating now. Location is 34 degrees, 8 minutes, and 2.77 seconds north. 118 degrees, 19 minutes, and 18.10 seconds west. Hmm. That would put it at... Good God. Can this be right? This... This reading is in California. I didn't think California still existed. This would be brilliant if the whole time we've been inside this radiation cloud and everyone's like, well, outside is screwed, whatever. And then the whole time it's like just normal world, it's just going about and everyone's like, yeah, don't go near the radiation cloud. What are you, stupid? And then we get out and it's like, oh, okay. Something weird's going on here. Well, I'll be goddamned. Uh, Rangers, unless you've got extremely urgent business where you are, I want you to return to base ASAP. You are being reassigned. Copy? Demonta is being overrun by robots, sir. We'd like to finish them off first if we can. Robots? Why is it always robots these days? All right, Echo One, do what you need to do, but get back here as soon as you're done. Don't stop to smell the flowers. You read me? Okay, but I do need to 100% the area. Copy, General. On our way. Roger, Echo One. See you soon. Ranger Command out. Okay, well, we got another level up for Buffalo. Copy, Echo One. Echo yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you I needed a level up. Hey, we got perk point, because we're level 20, and that gets us an extra attribute. Ooh, so... This doesn't actually get us anything, so we need two points to get anything there. One charisma does increase our leadership radius, which is cool, I guess. Uh, that would give us 1% evade. It doesn't give us initiative. Strength would give us base con, which we don't necessarily need. Awareness gives us a combat initiative and vision range. Luck is unnecessary. Chance to hit. I think we take one charisma and just increase our XP rewards and leadership brain radius. That seems fine. Like, leadership radius being increased? Sounds great to me. And hey, you know what? Boom, I just increased our leadership again. I just suddenly realized why. This is why heat keeps getting such weird ranges, because leadership must apply when you're in combat, but not apply when you're out of combat. Maybe that's it? 
Yeah, because leadership's not applying here, but it applies the moment you enter combat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, with that, we're going to end the episode here. We're going to clear out to Monta, and then we're off to California. Disney, here we come. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.